Minecraft Legends is an interesting case. Upon its release earlier this year, the game would go on to sell over 3 million copies in just two weeks. However, as time went on, it would suffer from mixed reviews, development issues, and lose almost all of its player base in a matter of months. So what really happened to Minecraft Legends, Mojang's most anticipated Minecraft spin-off game that never was? Let's go back to 2014. Mojang had just been purchased by Microsoft in a $2.5 billion deal. A ridiculously large amount of money to purchase a game for, but considering the amount of success Minecraft had up until that point, it was completely worth it, and all of a sudden, Microsoft now had full control over one of the most popular and best-selling games of all time. And there was only one question on the community's mind. What will they do with it? And the answer was simple. Over the coming years, Microsoft would start to capitalize off the game's success by monetizing with things like the Minecraft Marketplace, tons of different physical Minecraft merch like books, clothing, and even <laughs> Creeper Crunch cereal, before eventually arriving at their biggest innovation yet, two brand new standalone Minecraft spin-off games. The first of which being the wildly successful and memorable Minecraft Dungeons, which released in 2020 and sold over 25 million copies. And the other is the focus point of today's video, Minecraft Legends, a real-time action strategy game developed by both Mojang and Blackbird Interactive, which they said further expands the Minecraft universe and is highly anticipated by the community. And they weren't wrong. The game would first be announced at an Xbox Game Showcase in 2022 alongside a trailer. The visuals, the gameplay, it all looked so promising. What? Wait, this is sick! What the fuck is this? This is a cube world! Wait, this is fing sick! However, once the day came for the actual game's release earlier this year, Minecraft Legends was met with a pretty mixed response from a variety of different game critics and users. In a blog post on their website, Mojang would announce that the game had sold over 3 million copies within just two weeks of release. However, while this seems like a positive reflection on the game, those who did purchase it didn't seem to stick around for too long. If we take a look at the game's player count on SteamCharts.com, we can see that during the month of April when the game got released, Minecraft Legends had around a thousand online players at any given time. Yet just one month later, almost 90% of those players had stopped playing the game, bringing the average down to 100 before dropping even further in the following months, to where it sits today at around just 20 to 40 players. Now there certainly is an argument to be made that the game was heavily advertised to be included in the Xbox Game Pass, and that a majority of the players might have acquired the game from there instead, however, it's undeniable that there was some form of major issue that made this group of players lose interest in the game just weeks after purchasing it. And if that issue is present for Steam players, it's without a doubt present in every other version of the game as well. So what is the issue? What caused Minecraft Legends to decline so suddenly? Hey, I never been there. Hey, uh, hey. In order to figure out a potential reason for Minecraft Legends decline, we need to learn a little bit more about the game itself. Like I mentioned earlier, Minecraft Legends is classified as a real-time strategy game that takes place in the Minecraft overworld. The first mission the player has in the game is to subscribe to my channel, is to travel to a nearby village and protect it by killing off all the attacking piglins and building up the village's defenses. Immediately after that, our second mission is to, well, do the exact same thing travel to a nearby village and protect it by killing off all the attacking piglins and building up the village's defenses. After that, our next task is to travel to and destroy a piglin outpost, and then another one, and another one. If it hasn't become clear already, I think this Steam review perfectly describes the issue. I'd rather have a beat em all type of gameplay or a full on tactical game, but the mix of both doesn't quite work as well as I hoped. Basically, as soon as you've sent your units where you want, you just mash the sword attack, which is way too strong for its own good, and can clear almost any mob on your own, repeating the same attack over and over. After getting a general feel for the gameplay, it becomes apparent that Minecraft Legends somewhat lacks creativity. The 
very trait that made players fall in love with the original Minecraft game in the first place. While the game's visual style looks amazing and the soundtrack's pretty decent as well, most of Minecraft Legends gameplay and missions become very repetitive after a short while. Which is certainly not a good trait for the game to have, considering that the entire solo campaign, from the beginning tutorial to the very last boss fight, only equates to a mere 8 to 15 hours of gameplay. And after that is completed, the only other thing available is an online versus mode. Which, while it does work decently fine, also comes with its own set of problems, like the lack of any voice chat, text channel, or any other form of communication with your teammates other than some pre-typed chat messages, and no support for local multiplayer, something that is available on previous Minecraft games and is a main selling point on most consoles. So unless you have a dedicated group of friends who've all individually purchased the game and are willing to hop on, there is just no reason to come back to this game. Which leads me to arguably the biggest complaint I've seen made about this game. Minecraft Legends simply isn't worth the price. Let's do a quick comparison. A standard Minecraft Java account costs around $30 US and grants the player an infinite amount of gameplay and replayability, whereas Minecraft Legends, which costs $10 more than the original game, only includes a decent but short solo campaign and a multiplayer mode that is also painfully average. In short, Minecraft Legends is not a terrible game by any means. You can definitely tell that there was a ton of work put into this thing, it just isn't what Minecraft players are looking for, especially given the price. However, even if it somehow was, Minecraft Legends still might be facing a much larger issue. While researching this video, I noticed that there's been a strange set of events that have occurred with every Minecraft spin-off game Mojang's ever been affiliated with so far. Minecraft Story Mode was released in October 2015, and after only receiving two seasons, was officially discontinued in June 2019. Just four months after that, in October of the same year, a new augmented reality game called Minecraft Earth was officially released. However, less than two years later in January 2021, Mojang would announce its final update and discontinuation. This announcement was made just a few months after the release of Minecraft Dungeons, which only three years later would also be discontinued in September 2023, just five months after the release of Minecraft Legends and yeah, I, I, I think you get the point. For whatever reason, Minecraft spinoffs just don't seem to have the same longevity as the original game. And all of the games affected so far have had way more successful lifespans than Minecraft Legends. So who's to say that, especially factoring in all of the gameplay flaws and mixed reviews I mentioned earlier, that Minecraft Legends won't fall down this exact same path? Perhaps not today, but there's a good chance it could happen in a year or two to which another spin-off game will inevitably take its place, and the cycle repeats again. Or not, that's just a theory. A GAME THEORY. Let me know what you think the future of Minecraft Legends looks like in the comments, and as always, thank you for watching.